welcome back to the channel guys if you uh, first of all subscribe if you're watching this wherever that button is um, secondly like the video if you like the video thirdly comment any questions today is going to be a bit of a different video um, change this chair it's not like there's a chicken underneath me uh -huh. Yeah, today is a bit of a different video. We're going to do a, a sort of an unboxing video because what we found when we go camping, um, and I know people who go camping, you know, we say we go to disconnect from all the interwebs and technology and whatnot, but everybody takes a phone. We take our phones, we've got two kids, they take their phones for taking pictures, videos. Blah, blah 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 watching movies at night so what we have found is when we've gone to sites with no electric hookup obviously if we go for two or three days is um the batteries run out and we had a we had an issue with uh kale and our eldest was um too wanted to watch love island oh my god anyway so your solutions are you can either pay to have it charged um, by the campsite, sometimes you offer that. Plug it into your car, run the car because if you don't, you, you know, possibility of running your battery. Um, running your battery down and you can't start your car. Or hopefully, this is our solution. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna open it up, show you what it is, and uh, it may, hopefully, it may help some guys out um, looking for this solution the same as us so yeah I'll, uh, I'll get into it now well, let's get into it then now if you're wondering why I'm filming in the kitchen it's the, it's the only it's the brightest place in the house I, I could go outside but our next door neighbor is doing quite a bit of work and he's got a, a circular saw out and so every five minutes oh. Uh, let's do the big reveal. So that's it. What it is? It is a. They, they, they describe it as a portable generator. Now, in my eyes, a generator has an engine in. So it's essentially a massive power bank. Um, now, it's got three USB ports on the front for charging. One's a a USB 3 high speed I think it allows more ampage through um, you've got a, a 240 volt 3 pin socket on the front now, I don't think it's not an inverter so you know anything like a laptop or a camera charger something like that it's not 240 but obviously some of them charge packs uh, like nine volts, something like that. We've also got two um, other 12 volt outlets here, and I think very kindly give you a few things in here. So let's have a look. So we have, I'm assuming that's a charge pack. Um, that is also a charger in case you're charging it in the car, van, whatever. Yeah, this what well, straight away what I, th I thought about that is we when we go camping we have inflatable mattresses not self-inflate you have to blow them up uh, we do have a pump that we plug into the car or the uh, our van blow them up but what I find is it's um, not at night time or because they've been inflated all day they do lose some of the air you now some of the pitches we've gone to you can't park your vehicle next to your pitch you've got to park it away so your options are you're blowing it up yourself or this is now the solution for us um, just plug it in top them up get them nice and hard for the night jobs are good in. what are these oh, 
clothes. I'll just further investigate that. So what it says on the, um, when I ordered it, it takes four to five hours to fully charge. It will charge roughly 15 um, smartphone charges. But obviously, if you've got different things in at the same time, it, the battery power is going to go down. So it does have a, a, a battery gauge on the front once it's charged. I've seen it on the picture. It's just like a, just a little block, it's like an old style mobile phone. Um, so I'm assuming the blocks go down as and when you use it. Uh, yeah, so probably better off getting it charged up, but we don't have to wait four or five hours. I could try the it also has a light on the front just in case you just need to quickly go in the middle of the night looking in tent for something so hopefully it's going to come in useful now they are cheap this cost us I think it was £115 it will probably come cheaper as time goes on and they, they, they build more of them but it's just a solution for us so like I say we, we do take our phones and other bits and bobs and they do run down and you can't always charge them unless you're going to want to pay for them. If we've got four devices, um, you know, I don't know, two or three pound, I think they charge. Can mount up just for charging phones. So hopefully, this bad boy, I'm going to sort that out. I might just do a, like, a little bit of B roll around it because it's a really nice finish. Really, it's like, a, like an alloy body, um, a nice leather strap. Know, it's, it looks like an amplifier, an old style amplifier. Let's get it charged up then. Right, I'm just going to plug this in, get it charging. You can see the dial. Let's get it closer, put it in focus. Yeah, so we'll leave it a while. I'm hoping it's not five hours, I'm hoping it's got some charge in it. I mean, it says it's nearly full though, to be fair. So I'll give it an hour and I'll come back and we'll test a few things on it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll just test a few things on it. So, see you in a while. Okay, so some time has passed. It definitely wasn't four hours or five hours. Um, it was over 90 minutes though, because I've watched a football match as well. But it's now fully charged, so I'm going to connect a few things just to see what uh, what's going on with it. So first of all, I'll switch it on. That's it. Press and hold it. Um, I've just sort of learned this myself. You want to plug it in and use the alternating current side of it, which is what 240 is. You just sort of press the button once, and you can see the light on the um, battery charge is on there. And obviously, you press it again, switch it off. Um, let's try the fast charger. My phone, because it actually tells me how long I have left until it's fully charged. 44 minutes, it's currently on 65%. I'll switch it to the other ones. They're exactly the same, so I don't really know what that means. In terms of charging anyway. It also has a light on it on the front. If you take that up there. I don't know how bright that's going to be. It looks fairly bright to be fair. It has a flash for a emergencies or whatever. And again, like I said, it has the 12 volt um, outputs here with this type of adapter on. I'm not sure what things you would get um, that would come with just that type of end on. Um, well, yeah, that's pretty much it really. So I'm looking forward to using it. It's fairly lightweight, it's a nice 
looking slender, smooth little thing. So yeah, hopefully that'll um, solve a few of our charging issues when we go camping. Also, um, back on the front there with the 240 alternator current, you can put, put like a, um, a, a cooler in, like a cool box, have a cool box. Like I said, I don't know how long, they're gonna, how long they would last, it's something I'll have to trial, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, if you want any more information regarding it, just leave something in the comment section, I'll reply back. The make is, um, I think it says Budens, but I, you know, I might be saying that wrong. But yeah, any questions, just leave them in the comments. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video. And we'll see you on the next one. We've got a camping trip coming up soon um, in October. It's an end of season camping at Shell Island. And they have a big um, firework display and everything. So it should be good. We'll film some of that. We'll get that on the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.